Liberalization means attitude of the government of any country towards the flow of foreign capital, technology, financial and business services in the domestic economy. Now liberalization helps in coordinating foreign nations to enhance economic growth. Now like import and export, it will enhance the economic growth of an economy. Okay? Now let us see some of the significance of liberalization. Number one. Control of unfair trade in order to remove complexities of industrial sector and to increase productivity the government takes several steps to restrict unfair and malpractices of the business. Number two reducing restrictions in liberalization the intervention of government has been reduced to large extent due to this industrial sectors are free to take decisions regarding several business policies. Number 3. Export Promotion Liberalization policy emphasizes more on export than imports. So, it encourages private sectors to play an important role in growth processes. Number 4. Privatization This policy gives huge freedom to the private entrepreneurs. Private sector has been permitted to invest in the development of social overheads like roadways, communication, shipping, banking, etc. And liberalization brings enough confidence and power in the hand of private sector. Now the last point, number 5, capital and foreign exchange markets. This policy gives freedom to capital markets and foreign exchange companies as well. These companies can freely operate without any approval from the government. So these were the significance or advantages of liberalization. Let us move on to the next topic that is globalization. It refers to the following basic components. Number one, free flow of capital across national boundaries. Number two, free flow of goods and services across the national boundaries. Number three, free flow of technology across the national states. Number four, free flow of knowledge throughout the world. And number five, free flow of people in different countries. Hence, globalization means interacting the domestic economy with the world economy. Okay? Now let us see some of the significance or advantages of globalization. Significance or advantages of globalization. Number one, it helps the underdeveloped and developing countries to increase their capital stock. Number two, it helps the developing countries to increase their exports in the developed countries. Number three, globalization is the main source of economic growth because it decreases the unemployment and poverty. And number four, it helps in increasing production and productivity of the nation. So today we have discussed liberalization and globalization with their significance. So that's all for today. Stay at home, stay safe, take care. Thank you students.